Now at 11, a crash leads to demands for change on a street that neighbors say is notorious for speeding and a danger to children. I actually saw two lights that looked like they were coming straight towards me through my door. Um, and then I heard it sounded almost like a bomb. A homeowner say it's just one issue of many that has them worry that the next crash will end in tragedy. Thanks so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News at 11 live on air and wherever you happen to be streaming us. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. And I'm Craig McKee. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains those homeowners concerns tonight and the steps the city is going to take to try to address them. She had actually gone through our neighbor's yard over here, knocked down that silver railing. Alyssa Bryant walks us through what happened Sunday night. Went through here and then she hit right here and this is where this crater is. Photos show the damage after police say a driver under the influence lost control of her car and crashed in front of Bryant's home on Applegate Avenue. The problem? There's so much activity, you know, I'll hear people's cars screeching, um, people yelling and honking at each other. A car drives well above the speed limit during our interview. Yep. Yeah, that's about every day, multiple times an hour. She's hoping for a fix, speed bumps or something permanent. So she and half a dozen other homeowners took their concerns to Cheviot City Council, where they're hoping that they'll be able to be heard to make a change in the neighborhood. I feel like I'm not asking too much by asking for additional safety measures for my neighborhood. She's discussed the issue with the police department and the city safety director. Mayor Samuel Keller spoke over Zoom during the council meeting. Applegate Avenue is about somewhere between the 50th to 60th street that has requested speed humps. If we put speed humps on every street that request them, we'd have nothing but speed humps over our entire city. He says adding speed bumps wouldn't be beneficial due to the damage it could bring to city vehicles like fire trucks. Bryant wanting her taxpayer dollars to make a change. Mayor Keller says the funding simply isn't there. I wish I had 30 police officers on every shift that could do nothing but run radar. There's only so much we can do. Council says they will put up a radar sign and continue to look at this. Bryant says she'll continue to advocate for her street. I was very disheartened um, and just taken aback by the mayor. Um, I thought he was extremely aggressive. I did not feel respected or heard by him. In Cheviot, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.